Miss Smith, you're here because you love your one-year-old daughter, Tamia, and say you're hoping your mistakes don't ruin her life. Now, at this moment, you claim she has three possible fathers. You've requested results of multiple paternity tests to determine who her one biological father is. Now, Mr. Bailey, you're an ex and potential father number one. Mr. Anderson, a one night stand and possible father number two is waiting in our hallway and will join us shortly. We will also address uh, Tamia's third possible father in just a moment. But Ms. Smith, enlighten the court. How did you end up with three possible fathers for your daughter? Well, Your Honor, I was married and um, I was really going through a bad, time with my husband, we was going through some things, and I saw comfort in Mr. Bailey, eight year relationship throughout the whole eight years we've messed around. So this has been a long term relationship that extended yes, to the time during your marriage. It wasn't a relationship. Yes, Your Honor, yes it was. He's my soulmate sexually. So you're denying it, but you're here in this courtroom, which means you must have participated in some part of this. Yes, ma'am, I participated in it. I injured my knee while I was in Iraq, so I came home early. I was looking for somewhere to stay. Um, I, I called her, asked her uh, if she knew it any places where she was staying at because I wanted to be in that area. One thing led to another, we just ended up messing around. But I don't feel in like every child house is mine. that he looked for. That's so a lie. you admit to messing That's around. In every house that he looked for, he continuously looked for a house. That's we looked, a lie. we looked for over four or five houses. We had sex in every last house. That's a, that's Empty. a lie. Wait, that's wait a, a minute now. Wait a minute. He was looking for houses? Yes, ma'am. Every time we got a key, we had sex. That's a lie. That's a lie. Yes, that's very much true. All right. So the bottom line is, Mr. Bailey, you acting like you didn't participate, but you had sex enough to understand that there's a possibility that you're to me as father. She has sex with a lot of men that could be possible to father. That's the not true. Not at all. He has always been my go-to guy and I'm his go-to girl. But it's somebody man, in the hall waiting on... Old daughter and he's it's been a man in the hallway twice. who took I've a DNA test. Okay. two wives and several girlfriends. But this is a question. You say he's your go-to guy. Well, how many other men were you going exactly. to? Exactly. Only exactly. one. Me and my husband tried for years the only and reason, we could not The only reason he's we're the here today man. is because man her, her husband didn't wake out. Recently, her, her and her time. husband we're didn't work out. Let's calm down. I want to be able to hear you both. The only thing I care about here is to me, I don't care what you all got going, whether it was happening then, now, later, ever gonna stop, or in 10 more houses. I don't care. When you found out you were pregnant... Yes, ma'am. Who did you tell that you were pregnant and that they were the father? I told... She told Bailey. both of us. No, Me and him I actually not. stayed in my I car. Did not tell him. He when don't I was standing in Rome, Georgia, he don't we were sitting know. in the car. I picked him up he because he was know. walking. That's we not had a even conversation. True. My husband had a car. We had, we had a conversation. So when would he walk? And he said on, that she, he, was, he she was telling him that he Ms. was the father Smith. of the child. Really? Listen, I need to be able to hear the testimony. You said she told you you were the father. Yes, ma'am. But your testimony also is that she told her husband. Her husband. Yes, Your Honor. And it, also today. Because wait. You picked him up. He was walking one day and you picked her husband up? Yes. Really? Come on now. Yes. Seriously? But you sleeping Why? with his wife? But you just gonna give him a ride. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I want to get the truth for this little girl. Yes, Your Honor. And I need to understand how this all came to be so we can figure this thing out. Well, Your Honor, like I said, she you know, I was legs. going through so some... So, during the window of things. conception, I need you to just be point-blank honest, Miss Smith. How many men did you sleep with during the window of conception? Two. So, two? Yes. Me and, and Mr. Bailey been sleeping together eight years. We're not going to stop. I, I mean, heard it's been that you have provided that testimony already. My daughter looks like this man. No, she does. Yes, she does. But the simple fact of the matter is, she but told my wife that she had multiple partners. Wait a minute, this woman ain't never had a conversation. Miss Smith, Not you until told I told her right. that she was Ms. just Smith. my baby daddy. Miss Smith, if I can't hear your case, it's no sense of you talking. Okay. And if you're not gonna be talking, it's no sense of you to be here. Yes, Your Honor. Look at me. You gotta set the example, baby. You want better, but you got to do better. Well, you, you want better for her. You got to do better. I want my daughter to have a father. 
Uh -huh. I want her to know who her father is. Regardless of my mistakes, regardless of what I've done, I don't want her to go through that. You know, she's a girl. And, 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 and women, as little girls, they need a man to show them who and what not to go after or how to really how to be a, a woman. And that's what mothers do. You put your feelings, you put your life on the line for your child. And I have. Because it don't matter, really. <laughs> what anybody else thinks about you. If I you know. come into a courtroom like you have today, brave enough to tell your truth so that you can get answers for your child, then you being a mother, they gotta deal with their own life. Yes, Your Honor, because this is the thing. I had a one night stand with Mr. Anderson. Okay. That, that much is true. Miss Smith, you do understand. You're a woman, you understand. It only takes once. Yeah, you're right. So, if he needed some doubt to hang his hat on, you gave it to him. Mr. Bailey, you want to deny her and say she's this and she's that, but the truth is, you do admit to having a long-term relationship with this woman, so the fact that you potentially could produce a child together and you acting like it's not even possible, even though her actions and her behavior is out of order for court, I do kind of understand her frustration. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. This is what I want to do now. I want to hear from Mr. Anderson, which is the one night stand and possible father number two. Jerome, can you please escort sure. Mr. Anderson in? Yeah, let's go. Come on. I'm going to have you go up to the witness stand next to the judge. Okay. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Anderson. Uh, we are having a very heated uh, discussion and debate about the issue regarding Tamia's paternity. And Ms. Smith has admitted that she had a one night stand with you yes, during the window of conception and that you potentially could be her daughter's biological father. Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think you had a one night stand or you don't think it was during the window of conception, or you don't think you could be the daughter's father? I'm sure I had a one night stand. Check. But, uh, but I don't think I Was it done be... during the window of conception? Uh, maybe it was. Check. I'm not sure. And <laughs> lastly, could you be the child's father then? No, I don't think I could be. Okay, then your math is off. No, right. We need to send you to summer school. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, if you had sex with this woman one time during the window of conception, you just have to own the fact that you could be the child's father. Now look, I know it's hard to accept when it was just a one night stand, but it's a whole lot of people in this world from one night stands, I hate to tell you. I need to hear from you. When did you first hear about Tamia? About two months ago, the girl that I met her through came to see me and she brought her and the child and another child. I was sitting in a car with them talking and I seen the child, but she never said that I could be the possible father. About an hour after they left, she text messaged me on the phone and told me that I could possibly be the father of a child. So you just thought it was a joke? Yeah, I pretty much thought it was a joke. Well, yeah, we had that one night stand. Like I said, I went out with my friends to um, Mr. Anderson's house I'm, I'm not a drinker, so I, I, I drink very light. But that night, I was on some rock and Sprite, and I, I was drunk. My friend left me, and I had sex with Mr. Anderson. So, what other doubt do you have besides the fact that you feel like you only slept with her once? Well, I have a medical condition. I was di diagnosed with leukemia in 2009. Glad to see you're well. Yeah, I take um, chemo pills, mm -hmm. and my doctor told me that if I did have children, that they'd have severe birth defects if I could have kids at all. So I, that's my reasoning for thinking that the baby just couldn't possibly be mine. She seemed like a healthy baby with no problems. And so, so is this the it. evidence you're holding? Yes, it is. Let me see that. Okay. Ms. Smith, that, that can give him a little doubt. Yes, ma'am, it could, but he also has a young child. 
I have no problems with Mr. Anderson. He's a great guy, actually. You know, and I and I wouldn't mind him being my daughter's father. Miss Smith, who's on the birth certificate? He my is. husband. He is. My he husband. Had the, he was he had there. The baby. He, he had was the baby there. For seven he months. was there. This man was too he scared to step up to his months. responsibility. Because you told, because told he, five he people that was this woman right here. All right. Because he's been sleeping around on this woman. Miss Smith, on, all now. this time. I know you're passionate, and I know this means a lot to you, but I need you to speak in a respectful way in the courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, my so relationship the point don't is, have anything is, to do with Mr. This. Bailey has doubts. Is there any possibility that there could be any other guy that could be the father? No, ma'am. Anybody else? No, ma'am. So between your husband, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Bailey, the bases That's are covered. Is. Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, this is not the first time she tried to pin a child on me. She said her, her three or four year old was mine. Hold on, you said that and I told you when she was born that she was not yours. That's but a lie. again, That's a lie. you was messing That's with me lie. around the times of consent. So hold on, Miss Smith. Hold on. Let him get his testimony out. So you're saying you feel like this isn't the first time she tried to do this because she no, told you before she was she pregnant. She told me previous, uh, previously that her three year old was mine. Her but when the was child mine. was born, she says that she told you it yes, actually not. is not. No, she didn't tell me. Yes, I found I did. out through a friend that That's another man took the DNA test. All right. That's not true. This man asked me why I didn't have him at the hospital, why I didn't call him, let him know that That's I was in labor. That's and I told him because this baby, when she came out, she did not look nothing like our oldest daughter. We have a six-year-old daughter together. My three-year-old, she's very dark. She came out dark. Most babies be light bright. She came out dark. And I knew that she didn't look nothing like this man. And I was honest with him, straightforward. And guess what? Even though I so-called pinned the baby on him, he we still was sleeping with you. I, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Uh, you have a witness, uh, Mr. Bailey. Please stand up, ma'am. And please step up to the podium. And you are Mrs. Bailey. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Bailey's wife. Yes, ma'am. You have heard a lot in this courtroom today. Yeah, I knew everything already. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Everything that's been said, I knew about it already. And you knew that already? Yes, Because she's stupid. So what do you... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Miss Smith, don't make me throw you out. Don't I mean, be disrespectful I, to this woman. It's true. It's true. You're not Girl, being in between him. Miss Smith, now hold on. We didn't come here to be disrespectful to another woman. She was respectful to you, so you be respectful to her. Now, what would you like to add, ma'am, to this situation? You know everything she said is true. You believe that. Your husband's been sleeping with her. Yes, he admitted to me. I mean, after the fact. She told me. She sent me a message on Facebook and told me that it was a possibility he could be the father. When I asked him, he told me. We were all standing in the same house together in Rome. Me, her, him, all of us stayed together. Yes, you are. That's why I feel pregnant. like she's ungrateful. While both of us were pregnant, she's ungrateful. we stayed in the Watch same your house. You're right. She is ungrateful. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let her give her testimony. All right, go ahead, ma'am. We stayed in the same house together. She sent me, his older sister, and her. We sat in the same kitchen together while the older sister was perming her hair, and she was telling me and the sister, oh, y'all need to get some of these men up here, this, that, and the other. You know, basically telling us how many people she's messing with down from Rome That's to Atlanta. Lie. When we bought her... So, hold friend, on. So, you all old. sitting together having these conversations, and you say she's telling you that she's yes. slept with this guy yes, and this guy and this guy. It has not always so that been fuels drama your with doubt. Us. When we first moved together, me and her, I would never say we were friends. We associated. We've had... She said we've never had a conversation. We've had plenty of conversations together. He even asked me before, why are you even talking? To her. We've had plenty of conversations together. All right, together. so let me just you, ask you this. Do you think your husband is her child's father? The, the, to me, this child. It's a possibility. I'm not doubting it. But she called me mama. She don't even have custody of her. She's never had custody of her. Let's calm Who down. Have, now, you don't even know you Let's deal with, with the issue. issue. Ladies, the baby from home. Ladies. Good. When this girl was pregnant with that first child, she was homeless. That's how she came to stay with me. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have no, you don't house. have nowhere to take a baby, too. they take the baby. This girl moved with me. It was my house. It was my house. Moved with me. I paid the rent. That house was on. It, I it didn't know my husband's name. I want to understand your hurt. I'm just trying to understand your hurt. I have been there. Hold on. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. There you go, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Smith versus Bailey Anderson, 
pertaining to whether Mr. Bailey or Mr. Anderson is the father of one-year-old Tamia Smith. It has been determined that the biological father is Mr. Bailey. Thank you. That's the news you wanted, right? No, actually not. Wait a minute. So who did you want to be the father? I would rather deal with Mr. Anderson than deal with him any day. Hold on now. When you came in this courtroom, the only thing that you testified to over and over again is how you're gonna still be always connected to this man. Now, this court has determined that you all are, in fact, still connected mm -hmm. because you have children together and you have to learn how to co-parent. I don't know how this sexual relationship thing is gonna fit in with a marriage. That's for you all to decide. Last I heard, when you're married to somebody, you need to be having sex with them. I'm done with it, but y'all better get it together. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Ms. Maddox, you are here to prove to the defendant that her son, Seiko Benton, who tragically died only seven months ago, is the father of your 18-month-old son, Cairo. Yes, Your Honor. You claim you need financial help and need to prove paternity so you can petition for survivor's benefits. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Benton, you and your daughter claim you knew nothing about the plaintiff or her child until she popped up after your son's death, claiming her 18-month-old son, Cairo, was fathered by your son. You both deny paternity and plan to prove it today. Is that correct? Yes, yes Your Honor. So, Ms. Maddox, tell me why you believe the defendant's son is Cairo's father. Well, I'm 100% sure that he is the father. I know that for a fact because he's the only man that I slept with the time I conceived. And we did have sex unprotected. And it's unfortunate that he did pass and he's not here to tell, you know, his family about us. But I know for a fact that he is, he is the father. So you don't believe that, Ms. No, ma'am, I have doubts. I would like a DNA for my son. I just lost my son seven months ago. I need a DNA for my son. Because you never heard anything about the baby. The baby just popped up from nowhere. I haven't even oh. met her yet. Uh, what type of relationship were you having with okay. Seiko? I've known Seiko since high school, okay? It wasn't like we had a personal friendship. We just had mutual friends. Okay. So we hung around some of the same people. He contacted me March of 2016, and he was just like, hey, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while. So I was like, okay, what's up with you? And he was saying, you know, he would like to come over and see me or whatever. I said, okay, that's fine. That was March the 3rd of 2016. He contacted me. He came over three days later, March 6, 2016. And how soon after that did you start a sexual relationship? That day, that, that day. March the 6th when he came over. Oh! No. That day, that day, that, that same day. With no protection. It started off with protection, but it did not end with protection. Okay. And I okay. knew right then and there, when it was all and done, I was pregnant. I knew right then and there. I didn't waste no time. I called him the next day. Did and before I day. could tell him that I was pregnant, he told me I was pregnant. Wait, what? Yes, I said, Seiko, we need to talk about something. He said, you pregnant. I said, yes, I know that. I have three other kids, Your Honor, so I already know my body. I already know what's going on. It happened, he's the daddy. And you can tell the day you got pregnant that you pregnant? I, I knew right then and there when he did it, when it was, when the, when the whole thing... you knew was, you were ovulating then? I knew right then and there, yes. I was pregnant. I doubt it. my brother had unprotected sex when he had a girlfriend. I mean, that's the least of my concern anyway. You didn't know nothing about if he you. did have a girlfriend, he would not have been at my house March 6, 2016. Well, we didn't know nothing about it. And so, at that time, you knew your brother, your son, to be in a relationship with another woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you didn't know anything about Ms. Maddox? No. no. Ma was yes, this I the only that. time you were intimate with Seiko? That was the only Just time. Just that one time? Just that one time, and that's all it takes. But you got played and... by him that fast? Yes, I, I did. Were you dating anybody else during that No, time? I was not. No, I was not. 
And throughout your pregnancy, was he involved in the pregnancy? No, he wasn't. Because at that point in my life, I was going through a lot of things. So I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep my baby or not. So I told him, you know, I'm not sure about this right now. You know, I'm going to let you know. And then he was like, well, I'm, I'm going to be with you. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to stand behind you with either, either decision that you make. So then I finally, you know, got myself together and I decided to keep my child. And when I reached out to him to let him know that, that's when it was like, oh, who is this? I don't know, I don't know who you are. Who, who is this? Oh, I wait a minute. I, I, I want to understand that. So you told him, give you a minute to think about yeah, this, give to me process a minute, this. Like the process. And then when you reached back so out bad. to him... So when I reached back out to him to let him know, oh, I had, I had found out the gender and everything, and I said, hey... It's a boy. And he texts me like, oh, who is this? Oh. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Then all the inconsistency started. I would call him, no, no answer. Um, then the phone number changed. Because he had a girlfriend. And so, your honor. Yeah, I, your guess honor. That, I guess that's when he got And your girlfriend. honor. The first time that I see the picture of the baby was just born, I had never seen her. He said he might have a child. He didn't okay. say it was his child. And that was the only thing I seen that child, that one picture. My brother would have told me. He would have told me. And me too, me and him close. He, he came back like a couple of months later, you done had the baby and show us a, paper, a picture of an infant and tell me, do this baby look like me? And we were like, we don't know. We need a DNA. You need that to tell her you need a DNA. Who is this girl? Me. Oh, no, she ain't there. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to make sure that's not my baby. And then after that... He ain't talk about it no more. But you've never heard anything about Ms. Because... Maddox? Mm -hmm. You never met Cairo? Because no. the thing about it with me... I'm not like, about to chase playing. you. And you keep telling me, what, um, you want this, you, um, you need a DNA, you, did, you need a DNA, and then when That's I'm telling you... That's why you, you for it. And then when I tell you that I'm getting the DNA and you don't respond to me... Because after he, I, he after felt you like that asked was me for, After he asked me for the DNA and I told him I got the test, I'm getting the test, but and he didn't why, respond... He felt that like just tell me you didn't want to be there anyway. He don't believe that's his child. I wasn't about to chase him down to do for my son. He did say, if, if, um, if he's my son, I will do my part. And, and, I, and I know he would have did his part. Yes. I'm trying to meet you halfway, but you ain't, you ain't meeting me back. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I do. And so, within this year's time, he wasn't able to get the DNA with you and he didn't respond. Did he ever get to meet Cairo? Yes, he did. He did? Yes, he did. When he came over and held my son... The look that he had in his eye when he was holding my son, it, he just, so, it just... It was just so much love. You know what I'm saying? When he was holding my baby, I could just tell he, he loved my baby. He knew that that was his son. I know he would have been a great father to my son. Because, yes, he's a great father. You already have a son, and he's a very good father. He's a great uncle to him. So I know he would have been in his life if they, we would have found out. But it's just the fact is, my brother did have doubt. Because, like he said, she came in and out. And my brother didn't know who, like... Just popped up. He asked my grandma, he asked my mama, he asked my sister, he asked all of us. And we all said the same thing. We need a DNA. I remember DNA. him saying that. And you went ahead and made arrangements to get the DNA yes, test. I did. I did. I did. I promised I did. I texted him. I, I seen... You know, you can see where, you, where the person seen the message when you message them and it says, seen... He seen the message, never replied back. I even reached out to his, co his cousin and said, tell him to call me. He never called me. I never got a phone call. <laughs> never got a phone call. And you never spoke to him again? That was November the 7th of 2017. He died November 19th. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's why we want a DNA. I want to know if this is my grandson. I just can't deal with this myself. Because we also have, they have sent in the mail about my brother benefits. And we want to know <laughs> if Cairo is our nephew, my nephew, because he's my nephew, I need to make sure that my, car, my, ne my nephew get all the benefits that he need. And they're a loving family. And if we he love is, we want him to have our last name. And it's at the point, like, if he's our, my nephew, he's taking the place of my brother. And <laughs> me not having my brother. <laughs> it's pretty and hard. Me le losing my brother. It's we like I lost family. my own child. So, Cairo being my brother's son. <laughs> Just the like. It, it, would, it, would be, it would be good. 
And if it is, we here, we there for him. But like I said, my brother had that a little bit that he felt like he kept asking the family for advice. Is this his baby? He looked like me. So, and I told him, Seiko, I don't know. You need to help with DNA, because I don't know by looking at the baby picture. Now, I'm just now seeing this picture with him big. Right there like that now. And when you look at this picture, do you see a resemblance? A little. I do, a little. He looks just But like I want to know for sure. We don't want to be claiming a child. My boy. And my then boy been gone just seven months. Six years later, yes. we find out that's not our baby or something. And we've been raising you for six years. That's going to be six years that was waste. wasted. From his real father and from us. So we want to know. At the end of the day, when we find out, and that's my brother's baby, that's a part of a, of a, a gap that we are going to be closing mm. out. And so the truth is, you really don't have a resentment towards Miss Maddox. No, I don't have a problem with her because yeah. I never met yeah, her. This I is the most we have. And yeah. we just, she just came out of nowhere with a baby. Like she said, my cousin came with the baby. And... That's how I saw the baby. That was our... Um, my so nephew. you sent the baby with a family member? Yes. Yes, I did. So they could see the baby. So they could see him. Because I wasn't ready. Like, when I, like, when I went to the candlelight and I seen... The reason why I waited so long, because... And I asked her that why she didn't I had to let them anything. grieve. I had to let them grieve. She just lost her son. I, it was just not the right time just to tell her she's hysterical, screaming. She just lost her son. I can't come to her like, excuse me, ma'am, uh, me and your son have a baby. It just wasn't the right time at all. Because I don't know how they was going to take me. I didn't know that. Right, exactly. We still haven't grieved. It ain't been a year yet. Yes. And this would be a bit grieving to us to know that he, if, if he's that's our my grandson, I won't so know. So we want to know. We are 100% definitely need a DNA test. And we are a big out. family and we close. Ms. Maddox, you said in the court papers you need help. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Tell the court how it's been raising Cairo without any help from his father? It's been very hard because considering that I have three other kids already, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's very hard for me. I'm a young mother. I try to work as much as I can for all four of my kids. But my son deserves everything. He don't deserve to miss out on anything. So if I can get help, I need it. That's why I'm here. That and I want, what and you... I want them to know. I know he's just 18 months old, but do you talk to Cairo about his dad? Yes, I do. What do you tell him? I tell him, I say, I, well, I, well I, t I tell him, I say, I just wish your daddy was here right now because I know you'll be with him. I just know you'll be with him. You won't even be here with me. You will be here, you will be there with your dad. And I know that for a fact. Because my son been DNA with her. Believe it. Did you give Cairo his last name? No, I did it. I didn't. But I, if, when the test proves today, that it is his son, I want to give him that last name. And we would like I to want him it. to have that last name. Yeah, we would I like tried to, to have get it. his name as close as Seiko as I could. Mm -hmm. So I named him Cairo. I wanted him to at least have the, you know, the O and... Gotcha. I want him to know his family. This is, th these are his family. This is his grandma. This is his auntie. Mm -hmm. And I want him and to know that. And there's many more of us. It's a big family. We all want to know. And Miss Maddox, before I go to the results, I have to ask you. Are you sure there are absolutely no other possible fathers? I'm so sure. I'm so sure? sure. I am so sure. I'm so sure. I can't be more sure. And so when I asked Jerome for this envelope, we are not going to get a surprise. No, no. Please, please, please. No. We're not going right. to get a surprise. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? Yes. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, Seiko Benton, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Chandrell Benton. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Cairo Maddox, and Chandrell Benton. In the case of Maddox versus Benton, when it comes to 18-month-old Cairo Maddox, it has been determined by this court 
the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Chandrell Benton and 18-month-old Cairo Maddox is 99.9%. You are related. I was just about to say, I know you've only seen him one time. I want to see him. I'd like to know, and if it's okay with you, Miss Matter, please, would you like to see yes. Cairo in my chambers? Yes. I know he would love that. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I will meet you there. Oh, Court is adjourned. Well, family, we made it. Yes, we did. I know it was a long, difficult hearing, but it's worth it, right? Yes, ma'am. To get the truth, to have the answers, for all the doubt to go away, and more yeah. importantly, to be able to start growing Cairo's village yeah. so he can have the love and the support from all of you, right? Yes. yes. I'm so happy. I know Seiko is smiling. I have yes. gonna yes, let made him my his day. family. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> There you go. Hey, oh man. You gonna bring him over hey, here? Hey, look at Grandma. Hey, man. Look at Grandma. Hi. Hey,